subconsciously starting to reveal uh, segments that we are going to go step by step. We have a leaf and uh, we did IMX in Tokyo and now IMS is showing a slightly different direction, a more of a sedan, uh, but not a normal sedan. So uh, I find that to be the most compelling part. It's a very sleek kind of capsule-like silhouette, almost sports coupe, but it has very large tires and wheels. So it's maybe borrow a little bit of the high command seating of a SUV but keep that super sleek, capsule-like, personal experience of a sedan. So that's how we came to this uh, EV sedan uh, combination. So it's a new genre. Not only is the technology behind autonomous driving super cool, um, all the sensors and the ability to stitch camera information in smart city, so as a kind of tech geek, I, I love this. But actually for human benefit side, our advanced autonomous driving vision will allow the, the passengers to spend their time differently. And that had a kind of domino effect to how we think of the, the second row, the, the passenger, and what they will be doing. So the premium seat in the back is the direct output of that, where we thought about you're not driving, you're in the back, you're working, you're using the legroom of a super flat floor, uh, you're talking to your friends. Um, these kind of uh, scenarios uh, the design team has been working on. In my office, I, it's set up with the VR, and it's really helped facilitate the communication between the global studios. For instance, this project was worked on in Japan and in the United States and a little bit in China. And so, but for me, all the data was coming in and we bring it into one environment and I'm able to review the progress uh, live and uh, with a super realistic uh, experience of one-to-one. -one. So uh, uh, I think this is only gonna improve. And uh, so we look forward to the use of more VR in our daily life.